Hey Scorpio, this is Born with a Veil, and this is your reading from October the 6th to December 31st, 2019. So, so Scorpio, let's get on and see what's going on with your love reading. Well, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So the person that you're with, they were worth waiting for. You're very much in love with them. Um... Even though you're together, you're still getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Uh, unrequited love. He loves you very, very much. Or she loves you very, very much. Uh, Scorpio, you deserve love. So you're with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Or could have it in their chart. Um... You have to express your love more because he's waiting for you, Scorpio, to express it. I think you're so busy in your life that you forgot almost about him sometimes or her. Uh, some of you are engaged at this time and you are engaged to your soulmate. So let's see what's going on with these cards here. These are my cards. They do not lie. You got the Ten of Wands reversed. Um, sometimes there's difficulties. Uh in this relationship um you got the eight of cups somebody's leaving something behind even though you have the love and you're engaged somebody's getting fed up somebody's getting ready to leave uh, this card here says aries leo sagittarius cancer scorpio pisces taurus virgo capricorn they could be that or they could have it in their chart but you see she's leaving all her shit on the shore she's leaving all her cups on the shore and it could be a him, too. Somebody's turning their back in this relationship. Uh, what I'm picking up, um, for one, you're not staying at home enough. Um, you're always out in the street. Um, maybe you're not showing your partner on, on enough love or affection. Um, maybe you're just hardly never there or other things are keeping you away from home. Um, guys better get it together because you or your partner is getting ready to turn their back. And I've been saying this for months. Um, you got the five of coins, but somebody who, if whoever's getting ready to leave, you're going to follow right behind them. You're going to follow right behind them. You're not going to let them go. But see this, either you or this person that you're engaged to, uh, five of wands are in a partnership with or marriage. They're tired. They're saying, fuck this. Uh, how much more of this shit can I take? How much more can I take? You got the moon, Scorpio. Uh, there's some dishonesty within this relationship. I feel like somebody cheated. I feel like somebody cheated or <clears throat> was in a three-way. There's some double dealing going on here. You love the person that you're engaged to or married to or living with, but there's some double dealing going on. Um, the Knight of Swords. And it's going to be a disruption over a woman or man, most likely, because they're going to find out. Uh, the Falling Tower. You know, you guys can be soulmates all you want. You can be engaged all you want. <clears throat> you can express your love all you want. You deserve love. I'm quitting love. Getting to know each other. Worth waiting for. But if a person is not happy, they're just not fucking happy. And then some of you are following your same old ways. You're not changing. Maybe this person has had a talk with you or you've had a talk with them. And somebody's not willing worth to change. Um, you got the Ace of Swords. Somebody's got a bad, bad temper. Scorpios, you know, you motherfuckers sting. It could be you or your partner or both. Uh, you got the Ace of Wands. It looks like a cloudy outlook. What's going on with you guys? Five of Cups. <clears throat> you or him are turning the back. And um, you're getting ready to go. It's an incomplete union. They feel like they're by themselves. Yeah, he's getting ready to go. See him on that horse? He's getting ready to go. He can't take it no more. And Page of Swords, I have a feeling that it's because of um, Sag I mean Scorpio. It could be Sagittarius in there too. Uh, Page of Swords. I feel Scorpio like you have a child or they have a child and there's some shit going on. If Say if you're engaged and he's got a child or somebody else, there's some the mother's interfering, the father's interfering, it could vice versa. Um Two of Swords. Somebody's trying to keep the peace, though, in this relationship, and they just can't hold their tongue no more. Uh, you got the Ace of Coins. It's You guys are making money. 
But that's about it. They're making money. That's about it. Uh, the sun. Somebody's not happy in this relationship. If somebody feels lonely within this relationship, like I say, you could be married and be lonely and engaged and be lonely. There's some plans. This marriage could be canceled. This engagement could be canceled. Um, somebody's backing away in this relationship. There's conflict of interest. Um, Scorpio, you know it's hard for you to work with other people. You're a loner. You don't understand people very well. Uh, the Four of Swords. You're going to try to recover what is lost, though. You better hurry up and do it because I'm telling you, um, you or your partner is getting ready to change residency. And yes, getting ready, you or him are getting ready to let go of everything. Wow. Uh, the Three of Cups. And I've been saying this for months about Scorpio. Uh, Three of Cups. Somebody don't feel appreciated. Uh, the Nine of Swords. There's reasonable fear. Here. There's a lot of doubt, suspicion, a lot of gossip going around. Uh, the hangman. There's a change that's getting ready to happen. There's boredom within this marriage relationship. Uh, the empress. Um, somebody sticking their nose in your uh, relationship could be your mother. You got. You could be your sister. Could be a girlfriend. Could be anybody in the family or friend. Um, Ace of cups. There's a change again. Somebody's inconsistent in this relationship, or could have a false heart. Uh, two of coins. Um, somebody's going to get a message or a letter. Somebody could leave and leave a letter or a message. Um, or somebody's going to tell you something. Ten of swords. Somebody's going to be heartbroken. I see a heartbroken. Somebody's going to be grieving and sorrow when this person leaves. They're going to be just fucked up. Uh, page of cups. Somebody's coming in to offer you something. Somebody's coming in to help you, to offer you something. The nine of coins. Some of you... <sighs> use discretion. You don't like to tell your business too much, but they're going to find out anyway. The three of coins. Some of you are working too much. The queen of wands. I feel like if you're a female and your man leaves you, your mother's going to be there for you. You're going to be very sympathetic and understanding. Mother, grandmother figure. Uh, the six of wands. Um... Scorpio, some of you are working a lot, so you're going to get a promotion or making more money in that department. You should be working on your relationship. The Six of Swords. Somebody feels that they're a, stale, a stalemate, and there's not going to be any immediate solution. you got the judgment. It's time to forgive. Somebody's got to forgive because somebody cheated in this relationship. Uh, the Six of Coins. Yep, it's a three-way love affair. Six of Coins. Somebody's been very kind and understanding in this relationship. The strength, somebody is holding it all together. They're holding it all together in this death card. Somebody's clearing away old to make way for the new. So it's a rough change. So somebody's definitely leaving, leaving this relationship. Uh, the Harrowfin, if you haven't left already or they haven't. Somebody's been a fool in this relationship. They're going to find out that they've been a fool. Queen of Cups. Somebody's been dishonest and untrustworthy in this relationship. The world. Scorpio, you get it. Um, you get. Um, you get like. Your friends tell you good things, okay? But that's not enough. That's not enough for your friends to tell you good things. Yeah, the devil, the leaf from bondage. Somebody's throwing off the check, or somebody's divorcing. Somebody's leaving in this relationship, Scorpio, and uh, the ten of cups unhappy uh, family quarrels a lot of bullshit in your family unhappiness difference of opinion um you got the king of cups so that could be an attorney for divorce papers um the magician somebody's been very uh trickery in this relationship the lovers um I feel someone cheated and it was beginning of a romance or a friendship and then the feelings got deep. You didn't feel it was going to get that deep. The queen of coins. Somebody's very suspicious in this relationship, not trusting. Ten of coins. A lot of family members, a lot of bullshit. Family matters, a lot of bullshit. Um, two of wands. Somebody is very sad and troubled within this relationship. Loss of faith. Three of swords. A lot of tears and unhappiness and grief. 
uh, four of wands. Somebody's worrying a whole hell of a lot. There's an insecurity and complete happiness. Five of wands. Some of you feel like you're struggling in this relationship, like you're in jail. Uh, then you got the eight of coins. Somebody's lazy in this relationship. They're not working on the relationship. The knight of cups. Somebody's offering you something, and it could be your lover. Page of Wands. Um, somebody's going to bring you some news. Six of Cups. There are opportunities ahead of you, Scorpio. Uh, the Nine of Cups. Somebody's not telling the truth. And there's opposition, difference, disputes in this relationship. Eight of Wands. A lot of quarrels, a lot of arguing. Eight of Swords. Somebody could be in jail or on their way to jail. Um, it's a lot of conflict. Three of Wands. Negotiation. Somebody's going to try to negotiate in this relationship. Four of Coins. A lot of suspense. Somebody spends a lot of money in this relationship and you're a hoarder. Uh, two of Cups. Somebody's going to try to renew this relationship or engagement. They're going to try to come to a partnership. You guys might solve the issue, but I do see somebody leaving. They're on their way out. If they're almost on their way out and you guys can work it out, that's fine. Seven of Wands. You're going to have successful dealings in this Queen of Swords. Very sadness because there's lonely separation here. Uh, seven of Coins. Somebody is spending a whole lot of money. Somebody is starting a new job or new school with the fool. And somebody's been a fool in this relationship. And then you've got the King of Wands. Somebody has been dogmatic, and I think it's you, Ben Scorpio, because you've got a bad attitude. Uh, then you've got the Seven of Swords, a lot of arguments, quarrels. Um, and then there's Seven of Cups. There's going to be a choice made in this relationship, a resolution in the justice. It could go as far as court if some of you decide to um, divorce. But it's going to come out fair, though. It should come out pretty fair. Um, let me do some more cards. Um, angels, what do you? What else do you want uh, Scorpio to know? What else do you want Scorpio to know? So I've got this card here. Somebody's going to make an effort. Like I said, somebody's on their way out the door, but somebody's going to make an effort to try to keep this uh, together. There's still romantic feelings with you guys. Um... Scorpio, you got a lot of healing to do within your fucking family, man. There's so much shit going on with a brother and sister or brother, sister, father. Um, but there's a lot of issues that need to be um, healed. Now, there's a lot of flirting going on, too. Somebody flirts outside the relationship. You guys are still attracted to each other, very much so. Um, playfulness. Somebody's too um, arrogant. Somebody's too stiffy. They, they don't play. They don't know how to play. Somebody's very somebody's more codependent on the other one. Somebody smokes a lot of weed in here. Somebody smokes a lot, a lot of weed and drinks. There might be children with both of you or one of you, one to two children. Um, but then some of you are going to have heart to heart conversations too about this relationship. Some of you have to release your ex, or somebody's going to have to release this person that you've been seeing within this relationship because I feel somebody's cheating. Yep, I feel somebody's cheating and if you keep cheating, you're going to get caught and your partner does know. Um, Scorpio, let go of control issues. You got very bad control issues and uh, somebody's going to give the relationship a chance. It's kind of out the door. Somebody's got one foot in and one foot out. Finances and career... Um, financial issues are a factor in your life right now. Um, Scorpio, you're going to have to forgive. You're going to have to forgive and learn from forgiving because you're not very good at forgiving. You hold on to grudges too long. Uh, very soon, you're going to have to decide. Somebody's going to have to decide. One of you, whoever's cheating, is going to have to decide, you know, like, who is it that they really want? You're going to have to pick and choose or the universe is going to do it for you. I do see a wedding coming once somebody makes that decision and fully into the relationship. Then I see more passion coming into the relationship. Um, there is a three-way love affair here. But you got to keep an open mind. And that's the deception. Somebody's cheating or somebody cheated. All uh, the red flags is about the deception. 
Um, they still want you to stay optimistic about it. You guys are right for each other. But you got to get rid of that three-way if there's a three-way. And I will tell you this, that once somebody leaves, one of you two, there's a new love that's coming in for one of you. A lot of you Scorpios got to love yourself first. There's still chemistry with this person, very much so. Scorpio, you've had a past life together. Your last card, and you will reconcile. But you got to put effort into a Scorpio. If you're the one that's cheating, you got to knock it off. Because they will find out. If they're cheating, you will find out. But this is Scorpio's reading. Okay? So, Scorpio, if you'd like a reading, please call Born with Avail at 313-401-3707. Please text me first. I do work. Um, please to remember to like, share, and subscribe. That is very, very important. Cross Watchers, do the same, please. And thank you so much for joining my room. God bless.